It's a new series. It's Wow Turned on its Head. It's called Mom. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just like a camera on Pedro's mom just following nah, her dude, around. It's like doing Mother's it. Amore. De- and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with involuntary home invasion where we stay at home yet another week um i've been stoned stayed at home that's jordan's thing still stuck at home that's, wait 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 as opposed to a voluntary home invasions be quiet home invasion man <laughs> pedro mateus voluntarily Hi. staying at home very grumpy that he still has to go into the office occasionally he, he is the mm-hmm. uh bizarro version of involuntary stay-at-home man <laughs> Vol- vol- voluntary stay at home, man. Bizarre yeah. version, man. And together with you at home, Jordan is live, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Um, so you ready to review chairs? Yeah, <laughs> it's time. We 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 we've spent like eight fucking years right. reviewing video games to get the audience to do our real passion project, which is chair reviews. Chair reviews. That's it, man. That's what we've been trying to put together. We came up with that idea. Uh, we're like, wait a minute. We, we found ourselves reviewing office chairs. And like, dang. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Jordan, uh, have you pushed any cars this week, my friend? I have not. I've had like pain in my Achilles tendon, so I've been taking it easy because I don't want to like rupture that. That would be bad news, especially going to the hospital these days. Uh, no, I've just been I've just been trying to keep on. I got I, I got a thing from Arthur and I got a new poop filter. Ooh. What about Ooh, a new shock mount? Uh, that's on the list. No one, no one, no one's bought that yet. Uh, I guess I should <laughs> buy you that then, if you want. But it didn't look like it was going to shock you hard enough, so. Uh, d- it did shock a monkey. Oh, okay. so there's that. And that monkey's name was Peter Gabriel. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the real sledgehammer. <laughs> Open up your fruit Pedro? cakes, Pedro. What's I want to be your honeybee. Tell, tell, tell me about those um, honeybee that, the- cakes. Cakes that fruit can be a, that fruit's as sweet as can be. I don't know. I had a wasp fly in earlier today, and for some reason, uh, my phone just decided to remind me that uh, no, you're not muted. So there we go. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, th- that was, I believe, the most eventful thing that happened this week. Um, that and the fact that Haplo decided that I was a little too hot and I needed to chill. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we'll get to that when we get to the shilling. Okay. <laughs> did 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 he send you like the the Mr. Freeze Arnold Schwarzenegger chill gif? Oh <laughs> no! Oh. I killed the dinosaurs, the Ice Age. Ah! Over here, uh, if you uh, the the saga of trying to get this monitor arm that I ordered like a month ago ship uh, that showed up damaged. Supposedly, I emailed him. I'm like, yo, where's this thing? And I'm like, oh, apparently FedEx lost it in the warehouse, but it's on your way. So hook me up with a tracking number for that. I haven't heard back from. This is a $30 item, too. I'm not upset. I'm more entertained by, like, why don't you just send me another one that's fixed? Quit wasting my time. But the big money we spent was on this quad HDMI encoder that I am still very much tangoing with. We're kind of coming on week two. Uh, I'm trying to get everything sorted for like a video, show everybody how it works and all that. I've filed the OBS bug report for whatever good that's going to do. Uh, but uh, I've also contacted some developers and the PR uh, guy or one of the PR humans at Black Magic. Hi, Terry. No, it's not that Terry. It's a different Terry. <laughs> Which to... Terry? There's like five Terrys. Too bad, man. <laughs> I, mean, I can't tell. It's a secret. Um, hopefully, we'll get some answers for not just me, not just us, but for anyone else. Because there is nothing on the market like that remotely in that price range. You know, like the to get two 4K60 ports from Magewell will cost you $1,700. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then all of a sudden you're like, well, 500 bucks. That's, that's quite the bargain. I'm like, yeah, but not unless it works completely. So I'm going to stay on top of that and I'll report back if we get anything going because unlike the horse um who does so, the, have four does it four hdmi ports on the horse i, uh, I haven't checked in a minute i don't know i think the horse is basically just a fruitcake right now we gotta, okay. we gotta get out we gotta take out the sludge hammer which we call the steam Boom. 
Summer sales. Kinda, man. Summer sale 2020 <laughs> dates have been confirmed. Check this out. Cheap PC game deals. What to expect? What's the actual date? Uh, summer, uh, summer sale. It yes. starts on uh, it's my, it's June my favorite season. and ends on July 9th, so it's about three 25th. weeks. So, okay, we got three weeks. Where do we stand at this? Because I want, like, I would take one day of Steam sales of old, the stuff where you would say, I haven't even heard of that game, but it's 90% off. I'll just buy it. Yeah. I, I want that versus <laughs> 21 days of 10% off stuff that, I'm like, well, I'll go on sale again at that price. I don't care. Well, mm -hmm. I I I, I kind of the comparison in my brain pop that popped in was like Steam sales are basically Marvel movies at this point. We know another one is coming in like three months, so there's no real <laughs> urgency to like go out and consume citizen. Um, but like I I brought this up in the pre pre super shows. And what is the stuff that you actually want that would reasonably be on sale that you don't already own? Code vein. Yeah, that's that's it. Pretty much. There's, there's the anime Maybe Bloodborne. Sekiro. If Sekiro, we, we, uh, we, we, the price we, 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 fifty percent off. <laughs> here's the thing, Pedro. I saw that when it was like twenty bucks. I was, I was like, nah. <laughs> Code Vein, on the other hand, I almost had a um, yoink attack because I misread and I thought it was nineteen when it was like thirty nine. I'm like, ah, it's not good enough. See, the the only thing that kind of piques my interest now is like a uh, XCOM Chimera Squad, but. Feral might shit out a port for that, so I want to hold off and see what they're going to do. That would Possibly. be nice. That would be very nice, Feral. <laughs> Maddie, you bring up an interesting point. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, well, really well, uh, poop the bet on that one. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll get to that very, very shortly, yeah, we, but yes. We, we're definitely uh, going to force Pedro to eat that banana. Mm. Man, I should mm, go get a banana. Kashi, Kashi's formula? <laughs> I, 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 need, I need to have a banana handy for whenever that happens so I can eat a banana while Pedro's eating you a banana. You should have a banana at hand for this next experiment. Oh, yes, because it's no longer an experiment. You can put it in your mouth and eat it. Well, uh, you can open up the Steam client and look at it. Uh, play next. It joins the Steam library. And yeah, it, if you've been using Steam over the past week, uh, you probably saw that there's a shelf that got automatically added to your library. It's like, play next. It's like, I used to have my unplayed Decided games to remind me. of elf. <laughs> it's like, I, I used to have the uh, unplayed games there to remind me. It's like, okay, you still have about 400 games that you need to get to at some point. All right. <laughs> well, so so here, here's the thing, though. Like, we, 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 were t we were just talking about the Steam sale. And s we all have, like, libraries, like, literally hundreds hundreds of unplayed steam games at this point that we've just been collecting and i think it's, it's valve valve has finally realized this is a problem and it's like hey hey play some of the games you already own asshole do it <laughs> <laughs> and i guess it works because it it is recommending to me games that i want to play i know that but it's like oh there's destiny 2 which i'll get banned if i ever look at it wrong uh there's uh, a bunch of other online games that have easy anti-cheat it's like, come on, Valve. It's I'm going to throw this. I, I'm going to ask both, yeah. both of you a question. A very serious. Have we not been trained over years of Valve just recommending pointless throw dart at wall? Like, I, I didn't even notice this was the thing. Like, I, even if it is thing at this point, I'm like, I. You've convinced me that you you're about as reliable as Amazon <laughs> recommendations after I bought something. <laughs> It's kind of like the YouTube recommendations. Every now and then, there's a video. It's like introduces you to a whole new channel okay, that you actually so like. It's is it worth right. mining for that occasional gem? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, maybe. Um, also, like, I don't remember half the shit that I have on Steam. Right? Sometimes, sometimes I need that prompt to be like, "Oh yeah, I do own that thing. Maybe I should give it a look." Mm -hmm. um, it's 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 def it's definitely something that Steam needs at this point. They've needed it for a good long fucking while. <laughs> yeah. <I think. laughs> when you have a store that big and you're basically allowing everything into it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. Uh, we get new proton though. MF and proton. Yes, the glorious, glorious, uh, the gloriousest proton out there. The glorious uh, Yes. Glorious Egg Roll uh, Proton 5.0 is currently what, out. Okay, what, what's up with this uh, small novella here at the beginning, Pedro? Yeah, so uh, there were a bunch of things, 
and part of the thing with Proton GE is besides the newer version of uh, Wine, it basically just implements the Proton patches into the new versions. And there's a, actually a very interesting uh, back and forth uh, in the Media Foundation support and the way that desync uh dxvk does uh, asynchronous um rendering which was actually causing uh people to get banned off of overwatch at one point so glorious agro is very very much like okay this is enabled by default now so be careful because it the performance impact of that asynchronous bit is significant so you kind of want it on but uh at the same time you may get banned if the game goes what are you doing with the graphics rendering and why is are those threads being used for graphical rendering you're probably cheating <laughs> bye so <laughs> yeah the um yeah the media foundation patches which are like the big thing to basically get rid of yet another step in getting games working with proton especially games that have come out recently because the latest version of media foundation isn't terribly well supported in um regular wine no so that, that, that's a very interesting <laughs> thing that you know having the I, I've, I've spoken about that a couple of weeks back like seeing some of the um it, it's very bad because i wanted to finish playing the goddamn batman and yeah. now i have to sit through what well, is skippable about the warner brothers I'm like you need to watch two minutes of us <laughs> Oh, oh man! Any 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 Daedalic Entertainment game has that problem too. Yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> um, How about a toggle I, switch valve? Like I like put it on the Steam overlay too. So I'm like, nope, go away. Just take me right to the game. Yeah, remember when you could just go in and delete the videos and they weren't just packaged in some sort of game asset folder? Uh, yeah, yeah they could, there they are some good games that you can still do that. They still need the files, but if the file is empty, it just skips it. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? You got one, you got security issues, but you know they're, they're few and far between and they only affect Linux users. That's true, especially when you're writing kernel-level anti-cheat modules. So yeah, uh, there's an update that got pushed out uh, this week. Uh, for the Doom Eternals, and it broke the game for a bunch of people on <laughs> Linux bit. because of, of the well, new De Nuvo, um, De Nuvo version that How they do we say out. that? Broken or bro bro broke, bro broken or no, 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 broker, 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 It's like Broside and King of the Brocian or Brodo Baggins. I don't know. Um, but any, anyways, so, um, try, trying to install a kernel level module for Windows in Wine. You're gonna have a bad time. It's not gonna work. Um, and so the game ceases to function. Uh, me, uh, Denovo was like, "Well, you know, we don't actually, we don't actually stand behind kernel level anti cheat, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it anyways." Because we're fuck getting you, paid that's to. Yeah. What yeah. do we think? What do we say to this lip service? Check this out. Brace yourselves. Mm. Um, now, which which human from Dune, uh was this from exactly? Uh, this was from uh, Den. New uh, uh, yeah. Mikhail Grushnikov. Okay, and he, he he's like, man, listen, Linux gamers were previously able to play the game on Steam via Proton and single player. Adding the Nuovo anti cheat there has um, there has blocked that. Is there any way that uh, it could allow a single player to run? For and he's like, yo, man, check this out. We've been tracking Proton issues immediately after launch. Are committed to delivering a fix soon. This isn't a request coming from a publisher or anything like that. We genuinely, gen emphasis added by me, uh, respect such enthusiast community and regret introducing this incompatibility on day one. To which I would just like to say, I don't buy that nope. for a fuck mothering second, but it's nice to get a little <laughs> bit of lip service every now and then, isn't it? <laughs> It's it, it's yeah. true. What 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 one 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 thing they could easily do though, as part of their as part of their regression suite is have have a box running Linux because they're not particularly expensive to set up. Just you've been that, over that, this. You got to go to the does, Linux store buy a does, Linux does, box. Does it launch? And like you you don't even you don't even have to do anything. You can just say like, hey, we have this update. This breaks Proton. You we're we're being transparent about it as opposed to oh you caught us. Tee -hee. We're looking into it right away. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. but, yeah, I don't. I really don't believe that they respect the enthusiast community that uh, Linux is, 
Because from day one, uh, as far as Proton is concerned anyway, the Nuvo has been one of the big issues when it comes to game compatibility. It's not as bad nowadays, but if they're going to start changing from regular Denuvo to this kernel level Ring Zero BS, then there's going to be a lot more games that don't work. Okay. Well, it, 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 it's, it's going to get to the point, too, where it's going to be like, installing Game & Wine, please enter your root password. This yeah. is what I don't get. This is supposedly, well, allegedly, or at least what they say on the surface on the outside of the tin, meant for online matching, which all 11 fucking people playing that game online. <laughs> Apparently there's that issue. But also affecting the single player. I could understand releasing something. Again, you cocked it up out of the gate by including the non-DRM encumbered um, mm -hmm. executable. Like everyone who wants like the, that version has it. And because you shipped it, but <laughs> if you're going to release something, at least give people the option for our Windows brothers and sisters and everybody on Linux for the single player to disable that because it serves no purpose. And doing it after the fact is extra skeezy. Yeah, and uh, like Maddie is saying in chat, it's like, I think cheat for a single player game, Bethesda being Bethesda. Yeah, it's Bethesda. They introduced a login screen to Bethesda Net into fucking original Doom. Doom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's some next level dragon porn shit right there, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, oh, you need to put in your username and password to play fucking Doom. Mm. Or you could just run the 1993 Doom, version. <laughs> well, let's talk about a bet I straight up lost, and I'm kind of glad. Actually, I'm very glad I lost this bet. Uh, Half Life Alex uh, Workshop is now open. That's not the big thing. That, like, that's not the bet I lost. What I lost is. The Linux native version is here. It's Vulcan powered. It is ready for your head meats. So you can put that toaster, strap it to your face, and play Alex yourself. Now, they do make a point to say on Linux, AMD graphics cards and the Mesa Rad V driver are recommended for best results. To which I saw most, uh, certain parts of the internet like, yeah, that's right. AMD is the bestest ever. Now, I, I'm not exactly an a, a, a NVIDIA shill, according to Lydas Torvalds <laughs> back here. I'm giving that uh, <laughs> mono channel salute. But this is kind of an edge case. But I'm glad it works I'm, very okay. well with the um, AMD open source drivers. Because those well, have been I, getting a lot of work and they've been getting up to speed. And this is good publicity for it. It, it is. Uh, I actually misread it originally. I thought it was saying like, yeah, if you're going to be using um, AMD, use the Mesa drivers, not the recommended experiences based on AMD. But it does make sense because mm -hmm. Valve has been in very close communication with the Mesa project. They are directly upstreaming fixes that they do identify. So yeah, in, ter in terms of their Vulkan implementation, because I guess the one before was using DirectX something or other. Um, but for the Vulkan implementation, at least, they they've correct they've at least corrected or addressed all of the driver level issues out of the gate, mm. which is useful. Yeah. I did notice a fix that is in here, you know, just in case uh you you want to stop drinking, the game will uh kind of cover it up for you, man. There, there's a I picked the wrong week to quit yeah. sniffing glue. <laughs> That's also a thing. I, I'm glad we got the native version. I am. If you're wondering yeah. what what the bet was, it was just a bit of myself because I was getting a bit worried about the. But I guess now I can come back and say to Valve's credit, they were putting a lot of work and effort into getting the Proton version. Yeah. They were kind of mm -hmm. using it as a test bed and just hammering on fixes and updates and updates and getting us like, like oh, big game, a lot yeah. of new technology. Let's use this as the worst case scenario for something. Mm -hmm. I th I think did. too. I think I think too. There's actually quite a bit of shared Steam input code between like Proton and their engine. So like. Yeah. Like fi fixing the VR experience in one probably carries over to the other as well because it's the same library. So, yeah. good on Valve. But yeah, man. good on Valve. And uh, yeah, no, uh, as someone who has had many ex uh, bad experiences with the Rad V driver, be it on a dedicated RX five seventy or uh, integrated um, Vega eleven, it's good to see that it's actually uh, doing this well. It's that's surprising. 
Yeah. So one, one, one other thing that this update did bring that is a little less exciting is they basically opened up the entire game. Like they gave you all the maps, the script packs, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. uh, with the modding support. So hopefully, hopefully folks can pick the game apart and figure out how to make even better VR experience. Cause, cause I think this is what Valve is actually aiming for. It's like here, we've made like an actual good VR game that people are willing to play. <laughs> Here's how we did it so that you can go make your own good VR games and sell We've more made VR a hardware. game, That's not one just way of a tech putting demo. It. The <laughs> other way is now you can finally put the bows and the, um, you, you, you can cross the T's and dot the lowercase J's on that non VR version of this. Also true. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, I I don't know I don't know. Given given the how to segment on that that one mods page, like here's the thing you need to do because you don't have a second hand that you kind of need for this game. Why do I need a weasel? Where do I get a weasel? Uh, okay, now this next story uh, Jordan has is something I think Pedro and I have kind of sit back and like, come on, like, get get done. This looks like it could be fun. Yeah, yes. because we uh, had it uh, up for uh, review at one point, but then went wait a second, this is an early access. But not no yes. more. I like this. Nim, Nim, Nimbatus. It was a group mistake, you guys. Yeah, so it, it's kind of like that one game we threw chairs at before where you got to make your own spaceship whose name escapes me at the moment. Um, but in this case, you're building drones and you're going through an open procedurally generated world, mining, fighting stuff. Um, if you look at some of like the later, the later uh, parts of the game from the game trailer, this really does look like something that'd be really fun to play while on drugs. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's out of early access now. It's 25% off, uh, build, build your no drones. Try to cram that square peg yeah. into that round hole. Do it. <laughs> It'll get through eventually you guys. Um, it's, it's uh 14 99 us now. It's normally about 20 bucks us. Um, and yeah, like it looks like a very busy game and I'm not exactly sure how it plays. Cause we haven't really I don't taken know. a do, crack do, at do it. Do you have one of the, um, NVIDIA 8,800 GTs laying around? <laughs> I love no, system requirements it's not a like that. Dude, that's for I sure. love those requirements that are that pinpoint because that's the oldest card dude had laying around his house. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I remember first launching this and just creating like a little block drone that immediately just flew off into a wall and play. I was like, oh yeah, that's a fun one. This. Mm -hmm. could, yeah, it's that type of game that we could have some fun. It's kind of like a 2D version of without the mining of that uh, game that we played uh, a couple yeah. of weeks ago. Huh. Avor Avorion, that's yeah. what it was. Yes. <laughs> good any lot. It's good to see that out. Um, look forward to putting some time into it. Yes. Speaking of, speaking of lawsuits. Oh, okay. <laughs> biscuits! <laughs> or sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it's biscuits. You know, there, there, what do you want to bet if I just covered that? Damn it, it's over here. If we just shown the video. Yes, <laughs> that we're uh, gonna get claimed. <laughs> yeah, the the, <laughs> or... the, 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 the 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 devs for the devs for Cuphead are gonna see somebody. Well, it do, it doesn't look as good as Cuphead. Fair. Like in in in, it in still look as smooth as Cuphead. Yeah, either. In, in 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 still images, it looks similar. But like once you see the game moving, like this motherfucker did this in Flash, didn't he? Um, but yeah, bi uh, biscuits is out. Uh, they, uh, it is one of these like. Rage platformers, I guess. There's various ways to go kill your now, enemies. Now, to the credit, what, what? Even, even though I think this bar borrows generously from... This isn't, like, <laughs> lazily animated or done. No, and it, it's, it doesn't actually steal Cuphead's gameplay at all. It just steals its aesthetic. One thing it does have, though, that I gotta give it credit for. Online multiplayer. Holy shit. You can oh, actually well. play this with, with another human <laughs> over the internet. <laughs> Especially in the quarantine times, we're seeing a lot of these games come out. because I'm a mm -hmm. dark, broken individual, but that, that that just seems all types are wrong there. Listen, it, it, it's it's like human. It's like the cuphead equivalent of human centipede. Don't Listen, worry about it. Listen, Jordan, I'm asking you the simple question: Do you know the gingerbread man? You mean the muffin man? No, the gingerbread man, you monster. No, he did. Muffin button. Muffin button. <laughs> Muff, muffin button. So uh, this week on elevator pitches. Well, I mean, come on, it's seventeen ninety nine. That's yeah. No, nor, normally, normally it's like twenty five bucks Canadian. Uh I speaking of things, I just <laughs> might buy to try. I mean, come on, I might. <laughs> There's one whole uh, user review. <laughs> not, not recommended. It, it, it might get a curiosity <laughs> buy from them. I make for a fun stream. Might. It might. Yeah, we we, we got we got to resurrect the busted ass early access show. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of things that are not out yet, uh, this is Eidolons. 
the nether flame or no there's no could duh. have been the it's nether eidolons nether flame yeah. if, if you're experiencing yeah. nether flame in your eidolons please consult the doctor <laughs> but nether yeah, flame they describe on. it as a dark tactical uh roguelike rpg with gritty turn-based combat Okay. Uh, atmospheric dungeon exploration, deep hero customizations, and a Dark Souls feel. And I'm looking at the trailer, and I'm looking at the like the animations of the enemy models. It's like, that looks more dark, salt and sanctuary than Dark Souls, but I can see where the comparison comes from. That's it's like fair. a damn card game. Wait. Yeah. Okay, it, ima- it looks like, to me, it looks like a card game with a Victor Vren control. It looks to me like someone just took Roll20's interface and made, like, a game out of it. Uh, but, I mean, like, so the, the the description that Pedro read out is basically an elevator pitch. It's like, it's Dark Souls XCOM with the story of Planescape Torment. Also, it's not in Java. You guys, uh, you guys have fun with yeah, that. Yeah, that's the, um, that's going to be the interesting but, bit <laughs> because but, I'm gonna but, get but, this but, when it comes out. <laughs> run, 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 running, running Java Eight though, according to this game, there's a warning. It may cause psychological pressure. You, what installing Java Eight? Running Java Eight. Oh. <laughs> um, but I, I mean, like it, it, it definitely, it definitely does seem interesting. Um. I'm 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 a fan of this style of RPG. What type of game um, is it? Little, like, I genuinely cannot decide. It's a turn-based from... roguelike thing. Do you play a yeah. character or do you play cards? Or I think I I, I think you play a character. It the looks character, like yeah, is represented as but, a card, but it's a yeah. Character. But ba- ba- based on based on the <laughs> UI, it looks more like a traditional like XCOMy Baldur's Gatey hot bar game as opposed to like yeah. a Slay the Spire card deck building game. Okay. Yes. It, it, no matter what, it does sound frightening. It definitely <laughs> sounds like something we want to make you play, Ven, because you will love it. Oh, yeah. I look forward to the <laughs> This is Ven's game copies. right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. All right. Coming up next, we have a suspiciously hollow, humble indie bundle to talk about. And also, Tim tr- is trying to eat Gabe's lunch. We'll see what he packed. Back to Gabe. And I think it's about time we put uh, poot? We poop. We poop. We, we, poot. we poot. I just pooted right now. <laughs> poot, poot. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta wet my um, bum bum. We put whatever's left of the uh, the horse away for another week. Don't worry, it'll return. Why do you There's discriminate against our gaseous horse? <laughs> why do you, why, why there, do you, there will be more horse? That, it, it, uh, it's but... literal horse shit. It's horse poot. <laughs> Before we get to the news, let's get Come on, into Pedro, some of our power own. Power your way through that. Yeah. <laughs> drink, 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 drink. If you want, if, and if you want to fund Pedro's alcoholism, you can head on over to linuxgamecast.com. Move your mouse over that support button. <laughs> click on one of the various links that pop up. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited that you're clicking on the Bitcoin link, or you could click on the PayPal link or the LibrePay link, or you can head on over to Patreon, Patreon.com/slash/LinuxGameCast. That's where all the fun stuff is. Um. For like a dollar a week, you get stuff like access to the Discord channel, which means you can show up an hour early at 7.30 on Saturdays for the pre-pre-super shows and where we talk about GIMP masks and chair reviews. It's great. It's extra Linux Gamecast content that you never knew you never wanted. Um, you also, for higher levels, you get access to um, show notes. You can make suggestions. You can make corrections. We're you trying to sweeten stories. the deal a little bit, man. Like give you a little something yeah. extra, man, for support. That's, yeah. I mean, that, that's cool. You make it possible. So I figure we can yeah, you, you, you we're, we're also, well, Ven, Ven and I are doing multiplayer streams on our respective streaming days, uh, Thursday and Friday. So if you want to jump in, Patreons get uh, priority for people who want to play along with us Pedro, pedro's playing dark souls man yeah Listen, again oh, i you... said this on wednesday and i'll say it again it's wednesday is when i play the games i want to play and you're welcome to watch and uh, you know backseat game as much as you like it's okay i let you do it but yeah it's for the games i want to play so invade pedro <laughs> is all i'm hearing just invade and grief pedro constantly uh patreon's great though we got an amazon wish list if you want to help us out um, right next to the merch store Right next to the merch store. Okay, let's talk about the merch store first. Okay, fine. Go Ooh. ahead. See if you can fill 30 seconds of merch store. I will. Buy some t-shirts. Buy some stickers. Buy a coffee mug. They got Hell Elks, Use Me Penguins, Linux Gamecast, Face Things, Frank Files, Weekly Daily sure, Wednesdays. stickers. <laughs> so many stickers. No fanny packs just yet, but soon, question mark. Um, 
But yeah, um, no, we, no, we, no, no, that was 13 seconds. Keep going. That was 13 seconds. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do half of that because it's thir- it's 15 seconds. Let's build a snowman. Uh, let's build a snowman. We can make it our best friend. We can name him Bob, or we can make him. Yeah, man. Everybody has a uh, Amazon wish zone. We got one for the studio. If you want to be publicly shamed for everything that I do in here, including the interfacing Linux, and have your name uh, permanently etched into the Buying up Stand Accountable Wall. You can pick up something on the studio, but warn you, it's eye bleedingly expensive. We're talking Intel level prices and stuff. But if you want to help out friends and family, like uh, Jordan and Pedro both have uh, some thanks to give. And against, yes. against all better judgment, you can include a message that we will be legally required to read within reason. You know who I'm talking to. Yeah. All right. So who's I, first? I, 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 I I guess I'm first. I gotta I gotta thank Arthurin. You sent me the poop filter. Um, my old one was getting kind of gross. Ooh, so, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's so it's so, so it, it, it's it, th- 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 thank you very much, Arthurin, for that. That can't be um, unseen, man. That. <laughs> Now you know what was on the other side of it. Um, you, you, you need to send that to the CDC and see if it can help with like yeah. fighting Corona. Right. All right. So I, I, I got a, I got a note from Arthur and he says, hi, Jordan. Since so, nobody is buying you anything, teardrop, have this flash water. Hope you can find it useful. Don't PS. Don't spit too much on it. It's too late, buddy. With apologies. <laughs> have you looked at how the other one looked? <laughs> Uh, and I suppose I need to send out a very, very big thank you to Haplo for the fan. He's a big fan. And uh, Yes, uh, he says fans are incredibly necessary. Oh, uh, please enjoy this for reasons from Haplo. Thank you, Haplo. <laughs> yeah, I didn't uh, get so anything, nice but you know what? <laughs> I, I'm still winning. Kind of. Oh, I'll fan myself with all these. That, that that that's that's fine. No no nobody loves old Jordan. No wants to spend money on me. I'm going, I, I, you know what? Go fuck yourself. I'm gonna buy you that shock. Oh, that... <laughs> Shocking. But right, to wait. your credit, you've done good so far. You haven't like body slammed the desk yet. I, you're too busy trying to um lick that new pop filter. It's like this is too clean. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> All right, we 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 we, we, uh, we oh we also before before God we head off it. we also have uh, Ro- Rohit. He sent us a key for into the breach, yeah. so we got in the way of give. We got to come up. Actually, I, I'm taking suggestions. Uh, Rohit has like two things for FTL that are like super involved. Uh, you know what? Send us some feedback for next week, and if you do that, uh, we we can come up with a proper way of give. Does that sound Indeed. fair? All right, sure. So <laughs> ne- next week, into the breach, a way of give. I just wanted you, to publicly thank Rohit because Rohit made good because on some stream he was like, yo, I got this extra copy of Into the Breach. And he sent it. So we got to do something with it. So there you go. There's your challenge. Uh, okay. Well, I, 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 now. I do like how in order to win the game, you have to suggest the game to play know, we, to win the game. Dude, here's the brilliance. You can stack the fucking chances though, right? Yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's that's true. So, <laughs> so send us some hate mail. There tell you, you how to do that at the end of the show. And maybe, maybe, maybe you will have a chance now, to win. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's get, get rid of the Well, it is a humble indie bundle, but wow, that's a fucking weird It really one. sounded uh, like you said the humble indie button bundle. I was like, well, if this was the last one, they're not going out with a bang. No, no, but it's number 21. And the previous 20 were uh, amazing compared to this one. So this one includes Hotline Miami, Beat Cop, Dust Force DX, uh, a wallpaper pack. It's the Hamble oh, Indian. And coloring, coloring pages. pages. Ooh. Moonlighter. Okay, Moonlighter's all right. Ghetto Roboto does not have a Linux version. No. 25% Mo- oh, uh, percent Mo- off Moon- the DLC Moonlighter. for Moonlighter. Yeah. Moonlighter also does not have a DRM free Linux version. It has it for Windows and Mac, but not for mm-hmm. Linux. Oh, great. Uh, well, whatever. I can play uh, hype, hip, hip, whatever. Hyper, Hyper Space, Hyper Space Outlaw, Outlaw. and Starbound. Which 20 has bucks been for Starbound. About... How many? I mean, between Starbound and Dust Force DX, I think we can cover the last 20 Humble Indie bundles because I'm pretty sure I'm, at least I'm one just of them was on all of them. This is an impressive mix of <laughs> shit I already have and shit I don't want. 
now now they they are saying yeah. in two in in about three days they're going to be adding some more stuff but i'm i'm not impressed so far they, also yeah, tw- six so they're I, going to be dropping like six new things to which i say uh you, you need to give me some popcorn to begin with because there's nothing in here normally i will just because i i just dropped a check for the humble like creator game music bundle uh not mm. an insignificant amount of money this this i mean i guess i'm going to get it just to not break my having all the humble bundles yeah. <laughs> since the first one but it's so gonna be a pity box I'm like yeah whatever i don't care about the games also like sticking starbound at the 21 dollar layer not not that's not that big of an incentive it really no, isn't. Not it a, isn't. It, and not given a, the not space health law, I mean, if Moonlighter was the one at you know the most expensive layer, okay, fair. That mm. that's that would be the game. If I didn't already have it, that would be the game that would get me to buy it. Right now, I mean, it's the thing. If we saw this as a regular bundle, just you know, one like a Tuesday bundle, whatever, like eh, whatever. But this is like the humble indie bundle, and yeah, the big one. I remember looking forward to these because I didn't get the first one. I only got two, three, and so on. Uh, but it's like, oh crap, brand new games coming out on Linux before Steam was on Linux. That's like, yeah, the, amazing. The, the, honestly, the first one, the first one wasn't too great. It was like World of Goo. Um, yeah. And and like uh, and I think like the OG Dust there, Force. Uh, but it was, was it, it was more like, there was hey, a... there are games now. It was better than nothing, and I think there was a frictional, wasn't like the original um, frictional uh, uh, amnesia. Penumbra. Penumbra. Uh, yes, it was Penumbra. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is so amazing. Ah, oh, we never had games like this. And then, you know, for like five more years, that was like our yearly. And like, the ooh, humble indie one I remember, what was it, five? That had Bastion, Amnesia, Limbo, and a bunch of others. It's like, there, there, holy crap, that's amazing. There, there was also that. There was also the humble like Frozen Bite bundle that gave like Trine and yeah. um, some yeah. of the other ones. But yeah, no, th- reminiscing of Humble's past, it's a it's a diminished shadow of what it once was. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, Om nom nom, Tim's coming for your lunchbox. Uh, so this is Epic Online Services. Any engine, any store, any platform. Uh, they're offering like a server hosting for basically everything. Oh, look, it's, it's, it's a penguin. It's so cute. I just um, like the fact that they're still like on board with pretending lumberyards thing and people have used it. Yeah, mm-hmm. indeed. Uh, there was that one game that was supposed to come out. I saw two screenshots. Uh, wait, of hang it. on. There, there's the one game that will perpetually be coming out, which is uh, Star Citizen. Indeed. Uh, yes, that's using yeah. Lumberyard now, as but, opposed to CryEngine, so, because CryEngine <laughs> sued them when they switched. Yes. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but so, Ep- so Epic is like trying to collocate all these online services. You can connect a bunch of them for cross platform multiplayer. Honestly, it kind of sounds like they're going after Valve's lunch a little bit because Valve implemented like a private VPN for their game servers and for content delivery, which is a really good value add if you're a game developer who wants to like not have to manage hosting all the resources and securing all of them. Epic is saying, hey, we're going to do this, but we're going to work with Steam, with Nintendo, with Sega, what does what Nintendo, etc., etc. It might be a good idea, but also... It's epic, right? So there, is it there's just me on my end. I'm, there, there's a preview button that doesn't fucking work. Ah, <laughs> uh, this preview. Bu- it's no, it's it's not a it's not a button. It is it is just a thing. Apparently, they have the lobby preview up. They don't have lobbies just yet. Just like they don't have a shopping cart just yet. I'm just uh, I'm just saying, if you put something that looks like a button on the thing, tell me about something you're trying to get me to buy into. Uh, it might we might want to make it do something. Yeah, Indeed. actually, preview. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Or maybe it's uh, not a button. Maybe it's just like a subtitle to say that the lobbies are in preview. The, oh, that's okay. exa- that's that's exactly what it is. They they don't have lobbies fully implemented <laughs> just yet. Uh, but yeah, so it looks it looks like Epic's trying to steal Valve's idea, try to make it uh, accessible on other platforms as well. It could, like I said, it could be it could be interesting. Um, we'll see what comes of it. I suppose you guys got any thoughts? Well, they definitely have to in order to do something more than, hey, we give you a free game every week. Oops, we give you GTA 5. 5. Oops, 404 um, for 24 hours. See, I I got it on a cell phone, so I have no idea how, like... I think most people, because I uh, speak, uh, we're about to be talking about Frenchy. Frenchy was like, I I got it, and I think you get it on mobile, too, on desktop, dude. It was a smoldering creator of Nope. 
for mm. their, I mean, it's just instant, all their service that was tied to it. So they, 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 they do probably have some Android dedicated yeah. servers. Or they they probably got something set up for mobile, but yeah, I guess at the end of the day, I mean, they have to build something more than because right now it, it's, it's barely a store. They have to make something more sustainable because you can't keep printing free games in order to when your user base is not coming back or developers have no incentive to come there other than, oh, you're going to write us a check. Okay, then we'll yeah, be on the Epic Guaranteed store. sales for however long mm -hmm. you want our exclusivity to be? All right, mm -hmm. okay. And, and then, so, and then yeah, it goes on Steam money. where... Give me. Then it goes on Steam where <laughs> people actually buy it, mm -hmm. so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Deep Silver, come on. Give us that Linux port. I want to play... I, I want to travel back or into the future. They did say, yeah. That's yeah. why I haven't bought Metro Exodus yet. Straight Brought to you by Virtual over. Programming. But if you're impatient and you want to play Exodus right, right meow, you can uh, use Lutris to do that. And I just wanted to give them a little plug because I uh, got a nice little tweet to test and showcase new features coming to our web zone. We've launched staging.lutris.net. Stutris? Stutris. Uh, it has a new and improved game search function. And it's now much smarter. The English, the whole thing. <laughs> Unlike Strider's English, yes. <laughs> well, at least you know he writes his own tweets. Come on. Look at yeah. it. It's all nice. It's all sexy. Play all of your games on Linux. And, you know, it's slick. Got the yep. got Patreon. Go help him out. Uh, look, oh, shit. There we are. Hey. We got Linux Gamecast. That's hey, cool. we're, we have friends. 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 I just wanted, because, I mean, it looks... Uh, well, a lot like our side, but uh, good work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's using that one template that everyone's using. Bootstrap, what have you done to the internet? Oh, <laughs> you hey made man. web development too easy. It's too easy. <laughs> hey, man, let's grip and sip on some of that Yuzu. Yes. So, um, Yuzu has been a thing um, for a while for emulating Nintendo Switch games, but part of how they got up and running so quick was they've basically stridered a bunch of code from the Citra, the Nintendo uh, Wii U emulator. Um, yep. And that involved uh, having a single core handling all of the GP requests. Uh, that is no longer the case. They've kind of hit the point in their development where now they have to start rewriting large blocks of Citra code. Oh God, the little boy running in the single core looks like a horror show. I love it. It is. I want yeah, one. that looks uh, fantastic, fantastic 15 FPS. <laughs> in it, so yeah. Um, well, 20, they, but yeah. 30. So now... So now they have fully uh, multi-core rendering. It's fully threaded. Uh, it's not going to fix every game because not every game is multi-threaded. But for stuff like um, Breath of the Wild, that is pretty graphically intensive. You're going to see some substantial performance improvements. Um, they they are they do they do kind of call out uh, AMD's OpenGL drivers. They're like, yeah, go uh, back. I want my Bayo. That was Bayonetta. Yes, <laughs> Bayo Bayo. So if that's working, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, they, like like I said, uh, they, they they do call out um, use use Nvidia drivers because uh, AMD's OpenGL sucks. I'm like, this was probably written from a Windows machine because you know under under Linux at least uh, AMD OpenGL drivers at least the Mesa ones the are, open source ones are 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 <laughs> decent. Um, yes, when 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 window Windows gonna Windows I guess. Um, but also, but yeah, also as, no. as, 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 as we discovered from another Yuzu blog post, a lot of the fast NVIDIA OpenGL shit is just done in hardware. They're cheating. Yeah. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin. Yeah. Here. It's winnings winning. Yeah, the, they did that for the longest time uh, because, yep. well, that's how they do it in DirectX, right? They implement their own workarounds and little hacks for specific applications. And that's why OpenGL is not used for medical. Oh, well, that's why DirectX is not used for medical imaging. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, no, AMD's OpenGL has always been subpar, especially on Windows. Um, you just hate uh, open source. You're what's wrong with it? No. OpenCL, AMD, yeah, they clearly dominated, which is why the OpenCL is a joke, Pedro. No one uses it. They're like, hey, we got OpenCL. <laughs> uh, yeah. Crypto mining. I <laughs> oh, <laughs> which is why amd video cards hey, were okay. the ones this, they this really cute, wanted pedro doesn't realize that crypto mining hasn't been done on gpus for like three or four years now 
the, I'm talking about why I'm the sorry, I can't hear GPUs you were, being right were the ones right that now. No. people were What's after it? and uh, they were massively overpriced at the time. Years yeah. ago. Uh, <laughs> Just yes. fuck already. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, Pedro, how, how many minutes did you have? I had like a minute 20 for you. I was going to say that. I, I don't know. I, let, most of the time, I don't even listen let, to Jordan. Fuck, less I talking hate single more, player, man. Less uh, talking, more rubbing fronts. RGB bullshit. Wraith Master 1.0. Not to be confused with 1.0. 1.0.0 1. 0 is out. That's a point release with a side of chips, baby. What is it? After months and months of work, uh, Wraith Master is finally feature complete, and you can make your RGB go bling on your Wraith Master, which was a pack-in cooler. Or I think they even sold it standalone for like 20 seconds, didn't they? They there did. It, uh, it wasn't the exact same version that comes with the 2700 and the 1700 and the 3700X. Uh, but uh, yeah, they, they did have a standalone version. I think you can still get it if you now, can find it on the, eBay. The big kick <laughs> with this is, you know, like, well, I could kind of control some others. This has a GUI on it, and you can do the full RG bling on this. And there's a nice little yeah. backstory about how this guy actively reverse engineered it, running Windows in a VM on Linux, then uh, doing a little bit of clever math to unhack some of the bootleg decimal formats that were used to control the R, the G, and the bling. I tried it. Uh, I ran it several times. Didn't do anything. That's probably because my cooler's in a box on the wall. <laughs> but Yeah, um, that won't work. No. Uh, <laughs> I like that. And, you know, I, just going to be honest with you, I never... It, it, comes with like the USB. I never even unplug it. Like ne never left the box. Is okay. Cool. And it's a good cooler too, by the way. It is. Oh, yeah, no, it's like yeah. you have a 125 TDP CPU or lower, and that will cool it. It won't be very quiet, comparatively speaking, because it's only a 92 mil fan. But it, it's nice. Well, it's actually the, very the, nice. The, the Wraith was kind of a big deal when it came out. AMD was promoting the fuck out of it. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're like, ah, oh, look at our cool, awesome cooler. It can keep these threat these not even there was the um the pile driver system is yeah. cool. <laughs> well, considering like before that with like pile driver bulldozer, you had like, you know, it had uh three teeny tiny little aluminum pipes. block, yeah. And, <laughs> and it had that buzzsaw fan that I originally I knew the show was done rendering on Sundays when I couldn't hear it from the other side of the house. Mm. <laughs> So massive improvement. You, I think we can all thank AMD for stepping up the cooler game, though, because yeah. now, oh, yeah. now if you're buying an Intel product for whatever reason for your CPU, you're like, it's a dinky bullshit. Most of the time, it? Intel doesn't even ship uh, coolers with their uh, overclock the K series processors. Mm -hmm. They don't even include uh, stock coolers anymore. Oh so like... man! <laughs> so at Wait, that so... price, I, listen, dude, I can pretend I'm buying a new Threadripper CPU then. I, I, yeah. I, I, I got a question, though. Is Intel still insisting on those expanding pin-mounted uh, stock heat sinks? Oh, yeah. If you get an i3, the non-K versions of the i3s, they still come with that just those stupid the ones. There. The, the latch was so good. Why did AMD give up the latch? It was great. AMD brought uh, back the latch, baby. Good. Yeah, no, the, the Wraith yeah. Spire, the RGB Clicks one. Um, yeah. It's got the Excellent. little latchy bit. Excellent. The, that's all I care about. Couldn't be it, asked to do it with the TR4, though, baby. You got to bolt in four posts, period. Uh, that's like HEDT sized socket, so yeah. <laughs> you you could have made give me like two clicks. Yeah, d d double latch. <laughs> ah. Some some double click action. Maybe a little bit of tape. That'd be great. A little bit. Yeah. That'd be awesome. All right. Uh, I don't even know what this is, but it's official. This is Vortex. It's the um, mod manager. If you've ever been to Nexus mods, be it for your Skyrims or your Fallouts or Neverwinter Nights or really any game that supports y mods y yonder in any simulator. capacity, pretty much. G uh, GTA 5, yeah. Yeah, uh, you probably know that they had a mod manager for Windows for the longest time, and it was, you know, made in .NET and whatnot. But they have a new version of the uh, mod manager, and it's called Vortex. And, well, obviously, a bunch of people were just like, hey, you make a Linux version of this one now, please. And the developer, um, Tenon one uh, commented nine days ago that uh, he had recently made a bunch of changes to the Linux version and tested the build, so he was very quick to add, it's like, well, we can't 
offer official support and some features will probably not work correctly it will build and run natively on linux at the moment and uh... the installation of mods works but that's about it <laughs> so I, I got a question for you pedro did you try to build it i tried to build it i didn't i so i i, I tried to build it it okay, is on a, a scale of one to six how much shit did it eat pedro I'll I say. said I didn't. Jordan didn't. No, we're playing a game. Get pay attention first, <laughs> then respond. Uh, hold, hold on. I need to cut off my fingers and then I can answer. Uh. Um, <laughs> no. Um, so it's it's actually um, it's actually a yarn project. So it's done mostly in uh, JavaScript. I when I tried to do a yarn install, it complained that the version of Bluebird I had installed, Blue J, Blue J Bluebird, some something like that, um, was not sufficient. I tried to install a couple different versions; they all failed. Thanks npm, um, and that's <laughs> that's about where I left it. No um, JS. Is there anything it can cock up? <laughs> no. All right. Basic dependency resolution. Ahoy. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it works on his machine, though. That's that's what Docker's for. We'll, well just ship your machine. Oh, don't you mean like, um, what is the Linux VM thing inside Windows 10? That WSL? Thing? Yeah. WSL. That's yeah. where it works. Guaranteed. 100% of the time. Okay. 100% uh, of the time, it works every time. Old stuff is new. New version yes. of old stuff. Super oh. tux. Not cart. Every time I nope. see this, I keep my brain injects the cart at the end, but they have a new release. <laughs> Not no, this is six, a Mario two. Code. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and so they have revenge in Redmond. Uh, so, what, guys, what, what, what do you think the enemies are? They don't, they don't have any screenshots of it. I checked. I checked. Um, <laughs> so, so, so you got, you got uh, bomb bombers, bullet Bill Gates, shy guy Nadella. I don't know. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. It's it's all about a penguin and a penny. And a picnic in the ice fields, the boombox eating fish. Yeah, Something like that. I, listen, man, I was just reading what it said, dude. Uh, it, 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 it's super tux. If you don't want to set up an emulator on your system to play Mario, I, I like how like this game is. All right, still, man, the uh, open source perpetual fear of point releases is very real when we're looking at this. This game is from a time that Microsoft posed any threat to Linux. So it's like, hey, we're making a Redmond, but the, Microsoft has a Linux distribute. Hey. <laughs> I'm, 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 Microsoft I'm still is actively shipping a Linux I'm, I'm genuinely sitting in the bleachers. I'm in the bleachers. I was like, it's already dead. <laughs> See, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still of the opinion that, that Microsoft is basically just pulling a massive Operation Snow White on the Linux, on Linuxes. So it's going to bang dwarves. No, we're we're gonna, we're gonna see Xenu show up in the kernel commit log now. I and... wanted a dwarf fight with like hammers. Oh, is Planet X one finally coming around the sun? <laughs> you mean Nibiru? No. <laughs> yes. Be quiet, lizard you mean man. A AKA Counter Earth. <laughs> AKA <laughs> yes. up next is the Sherquisition. <laughs> all right, fine. That's uh, what we're gonna get. Yeah, that's that's the all, that's the only segue you get this week. Uh, we're throwing chairs at Furry Unleashed. Check it out. Oh my god, it's so fuzzy. Oh god, the chair's lit me on fire. Welcome back to the Chair Acquisition, where the Q's game must survive. Trial by Fedora, Sor uh, Neon, and Soros, Debra. yes. Soros. Fedora Soros. Fedora Soros text. Little um, what, 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 what era was that in? It was after the Jurassic? It, it, it arrived just as the asteroid hit, and then it got obliterated. It, it's the only okay. one that's got like half a leg past the KT boundary. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Hard uh, to kill, bitches. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, done, it's done by, we're, we're throwing chairs at Fury Unleashed. It's done by Awesome Game Studio. Done on Unity. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks US. Was it? Fury Unleashed is a combo-driven roguelike action platform where each kill you score increases your combo. Certain thresholds and your, your damage resistance and healing powers will kick in. It's a game you can beat even in one ultimate combo the devs did send us some keys for that so thanks a bunch i would say uh, citation needed but it, i know that's what they say and after playing it i'm like okay if you say so. you you, you could <laughs> I've, I've i've gotten combos across like two three levels but it's hard okay um any anyways uh how how to run on uh, debian dude i'm back on debian stale the good stuff uh 10.4 with the 1920x and 32 gigs of ram powered by the little baby rtx 2060 non-super no cape for it well you know it runs performance wise it's fine and 
even under Proton, but I'll get to that in just a second. Natively, it's probably humming, you know, somewhere around 70 to 100 verps. That's at 1080 or 2160, probably a little bottleneck there somewhere. But let's talk about one of the important things. When you're playing like a platform type game of any sorts is controls. And naturally, I reach for the X-Clone wireless. I'm like, okay, holy fuck, man. Y'all motherfuckers like shooting left because the character's permanently locked facing left. And the only way to do it is like to hit the right button, which is supposed to be fire, but it makes the guy turn to the right for a hot nanosecond. It, it's so bad. It's so broken that it's, you don't even get mad. You're like, this is hilarious. But if that was the only controller you had, you might be a little bit angry. Um, seriously, it's out of the box. It was just jacked. But to be fair, I picked up the PS4 controller. Everything worked as expected. It's fine. hundred percent. Just connected, get the right buttons. That's great. But I do want to give it uh, big props for the responsiveness of the controls, man. Because, you know, you're looking at it and you're like, well, this looks kind of like a little, little really good looking mobile game. It, it's tight, tight controls. Huge fan of that. But at the end of the day, it's roguelike. But hey, it's an action roguelite, so I, I might not hate it outright. And you know what? I didn't. I absolutely did. It's got a comic book theme going on with it. You smash, bash, action mixed with, you know, the power ups are good and they're fucking everywhere. You're constantly having to make decisions like, do I want these power turbo nerf gauntlets or this other gun? Why did I get this gun? This gun sucks. But hey, you got melee. The game makes a big deal about being, you know, combo tastic, but I never felt myself in a situation like where they were needed. I'm like, oh, maybe I could try to combo this, but to what effect at the end of the day? That might come into play further on in the game. There is clearly some attempt with a story, but fuck all if it makes any sense to me. I could see this being, you know, kind of fun with multiplayer, but it's split screen, you know, local only. But they keep saying, but it's got remote play. You know what? That doesn't fucking count. Okay, if it's that online multiplayer, we'd be playing it on Thursdays or Fridays because I could definitely see myself doing that. You can't really get out and about these days. But if you don't like roguelikes, uh, this definitely might be the one to cut your teeth on. Since it's simple, it's splody, and it's got just the action. That's what Vins crave in a video game. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to give a one. I'm going to say sort of one. You know, check it out. And it's not stupidly priced. It's a well-done piece of kit. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 32, 64-bit with the i7-6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, I click on the game and it launches. So that's, that's pretty good. Uh, you also get proper prompts for the DualShock, which is very much appreciated because any less time I have to spend mapping buttons and figuring out which X I actually need to hit is better. Um, and hot damn, they use all those buttons too. Um, and it seems to hold about 122 FERPs on either 1080p or 2160p. So that's the thing. Technically, it works pretty good. And I actually really dig the comic book aesthetic. The panel transitions as board transitions thing is nice. Although because it is a roguelite, there's a bunch of dead paths. Uh, so that kind of does not mesh very well with I the comic book it. thing. Is it like are in uh, randomly procedurally generated or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It is. Okay. Because yeah, I ended up in like the, the, going through there, a there, lot there, of stages, only to end up in a fucking corner. I'm like, well, this is bullshit. Yeah, there, the, there, there's always like the same things, events in each level, but the locations of them are different. Um, the combo mechanic is also kind of fun. You kill stuff, don't get hit, and then you live forever because that's how the only way you can get enemies to drop health. Um, you c there's also like an advancement tree where you can increase the uh, amount of time in between kills for your combo. Um, give yourself uh, increasing invul invulnerability so you can make longer combo strings and yeah like it does you kind of do want to you kind of do want to try getting the big long combo because once once you get like the super fuck you weapon that it just spawns for whatever reason that like three hits bosses then you're mm -hmm. like okay i can see where now did, you can do the game in one giant combo did you feel it was a bit uh all over the place i was watching pedro's video which just reminded me about the hitboxes on enemies being like if you're directly under them, sometimes you can hit them, sometimes you can. I've I found that that's pretty predictable because it's it's like these platforms you can jump through. Those are the ones you can hit through, but mm. other ones you can't. Even even if the animation shows it, it has to be that specific uh, permeable thing. Um, yeah. Um, 
but you know, like a but like I was saying, a lot of roguelikes get lean into the RNG Jesus element. And yeah, the game can get a little either too easy or too hard, depending on like, oh, you get the shotgun, that gun is worthless. Um, especially because I burn through health quite a bit because enemies will explode if you melee like, kill them enough. Um, but yeah, you can just kind of cruise through. Um, but it's fun enough, and sometimes, like, Neil Gaiman shows up and he talks crazy at you to hint at the game's plot. And I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe at some point it's like that Bugs Bunny episode where he escapes the cartoon and then gets erased. I'm kind of hoping it's something dark like that. Either way, it's actually pretty fun. Um, I'd be willing to give this a shot via remote play. I tried to set something up with Pedro, but he's ignoring me because he likes to close his eyes when we, we make love. Uh, that said, I'm going to give it uh, Where did chairs. you send me that message exactly? Uh, <laughs> on a place I knew you wouldn't check. Okay, all right. Life That's on you then. <laughs> nope. It's 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 all it's all your fault for not seeing my invisible message. Three chairs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So over here is KDE Neon with the GTX 1080 and the Ryzen 7 3700X uh, with VSync off at 2560 by 1440. It seems to cap out around 298 FERPs. Which is nice. Uh, turning on VSync caps at 2144, which once again is a major kudos to Unity for actually getting that right. Um, the DualShock 4 worked out of the box. The sounds and looks all seem to work. As far as technical implementations go, this one's spot on. Uh, as for the fun, well, it's Rogue Legacy, but in a comic book style with guns. Um, and honestly, I forget that there's a gun sometimes, just because the melee and the pounce are so much more powerful oh. than the default SMG that I what, just forget. One, 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 one thing I, I forgot to bring up, though, is um, did you... Because one of the things I think kind of that kind of discourages the gun use is you can't really aim and melee at the same time. You have to kind of do one or the other. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it 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 really does encourage you to like pick one style and stick with it. Pretty much. And uh no, for me it was just melee all the time because it was that much easier and the enemies went down in one or two hits. So it's like, all right, I'm just going to use melee a lot. But um I'm not very good at roguelikes or roguelites as the case may be, uh, and you know, Fury Unleashed very much fits the bill. But Comparatively speaking, I preferred Rogue Legacy. Um, you know, it, it is, it's, in my opinion, it's just better. It, from the ability to see your character, because in uh, Fury Unleashed, there were a couple of times where I lost track of my character because there were so many gibs and particles on screen that it was like, oh god, what the hell. Usually boss fights. Um, and... You know, the originality, like the whole concept of having this kind of action um, roguelike. Yeah, the Rogue Legacy did it and did it better. So it isn't bad, but it could certainly be better. So I'll give it two chairs. All right. So it's definitely not Rogue Legacy. Uh, we, got, we got any final thoughts about this? I forgot to mention that uh, if you do find yourself, which could be uncommon uh, if you have jacked up, you can rebind the controls. This is good. Mm -hmm. But if you do find yourself with a jacked up uh, Xbox input, Proton to the rescue. Simple as right clicking, enabling Steam Play, and it runs equally as good. And out of the box, all the Xbox X clone controllers <laughs> work. Not a problem. None whatsoever. But that's the weirdest thing because it's Unity, right? It, it used to only work with the Xbox controllers. So there, there, what happened? There's got to be some weird, <laughs> it, it, again, laughably bad bug. But. You know, us living in this fantasy world where we'll just use one of the other controllers laying on the desk. Uh, it, you're yeah. stuck on that. That's the way around it. Indeed. Mm. All right. Coming up next, we debug vendor issues because that's our job, apparently. Yeah. And that was another episode of Linux Gamecast Weekly. If you'd like to let us know just how much you hated just about everything we said or point out exactly what we got wrong you can you can no. go to linuxgamecast.com you hit the contact button there's a form that's there that's where i'm it's a four oh, there's a 404 there you mean yeah yes <laughs> that was this episode it's never going up don't worry uh <laughs> but yeah lgc weekly is the show that you want to send your bit of hate mail to and it will be featured right here right now 
Assuming, of course, uh, you, we can't find the answer to your question in the first page of Google, or if you're a game developer, make sure to read the uh, letters in bold up above. Nope, my game's yeah. special. Because <laughs> if you're just going to send us links to your Kickstarter, yep. the shit's not going to end well. Hey, man, it's all I'm going to do. L listen, <laughs> here's my theory, though. If, if I keep sending you the same fucking links, you'll eventually talk about it. And I don't realize that you're just going to rake me over the fucking coals. <laughs> Surprise! Next week. Surprise! Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, we do have one this week. From oh, Mark. hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> How's oh, hi. How's your sex life? And Mark. Yeah, Mark says, hi, guys. Love guys your show. Love. Been watching. Nope, guys. Yeah. Dot love. That's our new thing, guys. That's a show title. Can, 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 can we register that domain? Can we have guys.love point to Linux Gamecast? <laughs> Is dot love a teal? It is. Oh, uh, shit. I th yeah. That's probably taken. Damn it. But yeah. <laughs> um, love your show. Uh, been watching for many years. I have a problem when you stream via Twitch. It will just not play. Uh, the screen freezes immediately, but I still get the audio. Currently running MX Linux. Any ideas how to fix this? Uh, don't use Firefox. No, That's Firefox number one. fine with Twitch. Huh. I use Firefox uh, with Twitch depending literally on your the processor. Time. If you have, uh, say... If you have an AMD K12, yeah. It won't work. <laughs> a single core Pentium like you'd find in a T42. Uh, <laughs> this this is exactly think where that. I thought everyone was going to go with this one because, yeah. So I think what it is is because we stream at 1080p60. Yep. And just like if you have like an old clapped out mobile device or tablet, which I own some too, nothing. You get nothing. Maybe you might get some audio. Yeah, you get the audio, but the video is frozen on screen. Either go to the options and lower the stream quality, um, or don't use Firefox. <laughs> or just, or how, how, about, how about just try another browser, try another computer? Well, Jordan, happens. you actually, because uh, this came in like in the after shows in last week, and you're like, do you have this problem with other streams, or is it just yeah. ours? Because I don't think it is. I, I, I don't think so either. So, Mark... Get back to us. We'll feature your hit well, next I, week. If, if this you have is one, when we follow. stream via Twitch. I want to know which one of you motherfuckers is streaming somewhere else. Pornhub, baby. Damn it. Got all that. <laughs> they red don't have tube mega chatter. porn anymore, but. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I just, I just got, I got the crotch cam going. We're playing Divinity Original Sin. You can see how frustrated or pleased I am based I on the camera. I didn't buy this little Snoopy mask for no reason. It's very sinful. <laughs> it's, it's, it's original sin. Oh, man. Jeez, guys, eat, eat that love. fruit. Eat oh, that fruit. Fourteen hundred bucks. Ah, <laughs> oh, that would be a horrible use of my government stimulus check. What? What? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? <laughs> patreoncom slash gamecast on that love dot thing guys whatever guys love uh check it out beautiful <laughs> people if you want to get in touch with me if you want to love my guy um i'm vin stone at vin stone on the twitters i'm there if you want to come say hi i, I will click things and maybe reply to stuff and uh just at vin at mast dot linux dot com because we got a mast done instance it's full of guys dot love I'm just mad that there are no domain hacks for me because you can't get a .ng domain because Nigeria actually manages their domain namespace. Oh. If you want to hear? Indeed. If you want to hear me complain about why I can never get cwa.ng, you can head on over to Twitter. I'm at the Burning Fool. I don't post on my Mastodon, but you can follow it if you want at Frojo Mastodon yeah, I'd have to um, actually go to the U.S. again to register. <laughs> Guys love CAs, dude. We picked that up. <laughs> mate dot US. Uh, but yeah, no, at unaccounted for on Twitter. I suppose I am on Mastodon too. It is also at unaccounted for there. Uh, but yeah, I don't go on Mastodon. Last time I went there, uh, I keep saying this, but I enabled the federated timeline, and it was just a bunch of boobs. So. That, Got it. That, Page, that's all Pedro that Mateus Mastodon hates <laughs> boobs. If you want to May 16th, stay on top of like the unofficial I wanna, things, I wanna go. Shut the fuck up for a second. Um, stuff that Strider's up to. Mastodon, go check that out. That that's where that boy unhinges in the morning, and that stream doesn't stop till late in the evening, man. It's fun to watch. It's where he knows that no one else is looking. <laughs> well, it's, it's also well. Hang on, it's I, screaming I, I, into the void. I I can see it in the like Discord. He's like. Liquor! Master Tutter's laid down. 
Hey, we're gonna roll some credits because you're awesome. You deserve to be in them. Sure. Credits. Are they are they the weekly daily Wednesday credits this time? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right. That's that, that's why we're streaming on Pornhub. <laughs> credits not found. Oh. Your mom wasn't found. I wish. Um. Uh, CDIV. Gotta thank our advisors like Heplo. And we have another advisor, but apparently they're very anonymous. They they hey. are. They're like, yo, I don't, I don't want to be associated secret. with this shit, all right? So yeah, keep, secret, secret. keep fighting the good fight. Just don't tell take, anybody. Take, take my money. Don't tell, the, don't tell anyone we're giving you the money. We're going to thank Arthur and Empty, Economic Ass, Mike G, Barbara, Adlius, Mackie, Mackie Scott, Seven. Frosty, Lupus. the Clawman, Libra Quest, Ooh. a tribe called Libra Quest. And our producers like David S. from Ashley G, Michael, Igal, Ta Jolly, Topical, Gaius, another match here. Brad Max Massivoni, Dan W. Br Brad, Brad Ass. Look, W. Is he, is Matt C. Mike W. Is he a, cool is, is he a Brad Dean Ass motherfucker? Foxy. Yes. Todd. The, Scott. the other Reinecker. Uh, it's <laughs> Kai, we got Kyle Schicks, the other Jordan Hovenstaffen. Gonzo Nibbles. 2000, yeah, Dementor, <laughs> Renaud, Stephen O, Rudy. Mr. Mango, Craig, Stephen, Belric, Christian, Dodger, Douglas, Thomas, Bram, and Rohit, and, and, and Oxford, Kibra. coma. OX4D underscore coma. Hashtag Dynafire. Bye. Bye. Five dudes.